Hi everybody, I know it's been a while since I've done something because uh, I just couldn't think of what would really be wonderful. But I came up, this is a Scottish recipe. And I had one of these uh, when we were in Scotland. Uh, it is called the blueberry buckle. And so when I came back, I had to look and look and look and find the recipe and then kind of tweaked it a little bit, something that I like. These are the fantastic muffins. They really are. Now we're gonna get set to make them. I use a bowl and a spoon. I don't use a mixer because it over mixes. It makes it too, too fine of a, of a uh, batter and we want kind of a, a thicker batter. So here's what we're gonna, here's what I'd start with. I'm gonna start with two cups of flour and I'm putting it in a, in a sifter just because I was told that's what I was supposed to do. I have one tablespoon of baking powder. I add that in. I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of salt and a cup of white sugar. I, I have them all in the bowls because uh, I love to have bowls out and then I have lots of stuff to wash. I'm gonna stir this around and sift it. Look how nice that comes out. We get out any kind of clumps or any kind of little, uh, I call them flower balls that say stay in there. We just squish them all up. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Okay, now I have this nice, fine mixture. Can you see that, Kath? Okay. Kathy's my photographer. That's her picture on here. Hey, guys, lay off. This is mine. Now I'm going to stir into this mixture two beaten eggs. Because if you don't beat them first, the yolks will clump up in that flour. I'm gonna put in half a cup of milk. I'm gonna put in one fourth of a cup of vanilla yogurt. And one fourth of a cup of sour cream. Now, if you go ahead and put all the ingredients like I did in, into these little bowls, doesn't it make it so much easier than getting in and out of the fridge and getting, you know, what you have and that you use the right amount of each thing. I'm going to stir this up and it's get, going to get nice and thick. Almost turning, see, it's, it's not watery at all. Okay, I'm going to put in now two teaspoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of grated lemon peel. I'm going to put in one teaspoon of lemon, ah, that was lemon extract, and I'm going to put in half a teaspoon of vanilla. And you see this giant bottle, I make my own vanilla, good 80 proof. There, all my ingredients are in. And again, I mix. Like I say, this is thick. Reminds me kind of like a bread. Yes, it's, it's not like flour. quite a bread dough. No, but now I'm going to put in two cups of fresh blueberries. Don't use frozen. Frozen will turn everything a purpley color which we don't want. And I do this easy. I don't want to bust up these. Now the juice from the blueberries as they cook is going to moisten this up. So it won't be so bready thicky by the time you eat it. Is that but called folding? This, is, this would be folding. Yeah, I'm not even strong. I'm just folding it in. Folding it in, folding it in. I have my Scottish hat on. Okay, we have it on there. I put in two cups of flour, and I'm reading it off here because I want to make sure I do it. Two cups of flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one cup of flour. Then I, I did, uh, I sifted it. Then I put in two beaten eggs, a half a cup of milk, a quarter cup of sour cream, and a quarter cup of honey. I put honey vanilla yogurt 
on mine, you could put plain yogurt, two teaspoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of grated lemon peel, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. There. Okay, and my blue, two cups of blueberries. Now, I'm gonna show real quick because we're gonna do a little splice and cut. I use an ice cream scoop. And these are my favorite. These are called, these are called fluted. And I put in two, about a cup and, and a scoop and three quarter in each one. On top of those, I'm gonna put a little crumb mixture. And here's my crumb mixture. In a blender, I put a third of a cup of brown sugar, a third of a cup of white flour, uh, a little bit of cinnamon, some finely ground granola, and three tablespoons of butter and hit the blend. And I'll take this mixture and just kind of put a little bit of on top. That's all I need. Okay, we're going to cut and splice so you don't have to watch me fill these all up. Oh, meanwhile, meanwhile, oh, heat your oven to 395. 395. Get it all heated up. Okay, I filled up all of my muffin pans. Did you see it? Now, <clears throat> you'll see when this blooms up because of the shape of this, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. You're going to absolutely love this. It makes a great presentation. I preheated the oven to 395. 395. For those of you that are hard of hearing like I am. I'm going to put these in for 20 minutes. Uh, you could go 21. I mean, if, if you're wild, you're still crazy, you know, have a little youth left in you, you could go 20 and a half. Really kind of split the difference. But here we go into my oven. I close the door and we'll wait 20 minutes. Uh, then I'm going to, uh, we'll splice this and show it ringing out. You're, you're going to love this. I'm taking this up to the senior center today. Okay, we're back again. Uh, the time has been, I had them in for 21 minutes. Um, I know I told you 20 or 20 and a half, but I am a wild and crazy guy. I did 21 minutes and I'm proud of it too. <laughs> Here they come. You rebel. Oh my goodness. Oh, the smell. I want you to see these blueberries. Look at them bubbling up over the top. That crumb topping, the blueberries. I'll tell you, there's nothing better. Let these cool, sit down, have a, a cup of cocoa or a cup of hot tea and watch the original Braveheart. And the original Braveheart, <laughs> Matt Damon plays all of the parts, all of them. It's, it's absolutely amazing. He is a fantastic actor. He plays the English, he plays the Scottish. Uh, do catch that on uh, Netflix if you do it, or is it Numflix? But it's, you gotta watch it. These are the blueberries, uh, buckle, right from Scotland, so right good. to Orem, Utah, and right to you. Okay, I've done it again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.